Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Routkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to prove this statement or formula with the help of mathematical induction. First, here if you'll observe, the nth term is not given for the series on the left-hand side. Okay, The nth term is not given. First, I need to find out that. Now, the nth term of the given series is n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. Why? You observe the pattern. Okay, uh, See the first numbers on like in each term. 1, 2, 3. So basically 1, 2, 3 and so on. The nth term is going to be n. Here I have 2, 3, 4. So basically my nth term is going to be n plus 1. And here I have 3, 4, 5. So basically my nth term is going to be n plus 2. And my final nth term is going to be product of those 3. n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. You can just check it. Okay. Let's say if you will put n as 3. You would get 3 into 4 into 5. That's what my third term is. Right. So that's how I got this uh, nth term. Next. Let P of n be the statement. I'm going to write the given uh, equation as it is. Just that in place of up to n terms, I'm keeping, I'm keeping the nth term here, which I already found out. Next. And I'm going to take the sum on the left-hand side as S of n. Okay, this sum I'm going to take it as S of n. So naturally, S of n is also equal to this. Okay, Naturally, S of n is also equal to this. This is equal to LHS. It, naturally, it is naturally equal to RHS also. Now, uh, so there are three parts I need to show that the given statement is true for n equal to 1. I need to assume that the given statement is true for n equal to k. By that, I need to show that the given statement is true for n equal to k plus 1. Now, let's get started. Since s of 1 is equal to, s of 1 means I need to take the only the first term. 1 into 2 into 3. Okay. And uh, now this is basically equal to this. In this part, RHS, you just need to put n as 1. Okay. Now, let's check whether it's really equal or not. What's 1 into 2 into 3? It's three, it's uh, six. And here, here, if you'll observe, one into one plus one is two, three, uh, one plus two is three, and one, pl uh, one plus three is four. So basically, one into two into three, uh, one into two into three into four by four. four. Four would get canceled. What's two into three? Six. So basically, that's what I got. That is six equal to six. The formula is true for n equal to. One part is done. Now next, assume that the given statement is true for n equal to k and k is greater than or equal to 1. Don't forget it. Now, since the given statement is true for n equal to k, like I'm taking it. So basically, I can write s of k, s of k as this. s of k is nothing but 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 and so on up till k into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Inst instead of n, I'm going to put k here. Okay, because I'm assuming that the given statement is true for n equal to k. And likewise, on the RHS also, I'd get this. Wondering why, see, basically, I took S of n as this, okay. Basically, the given statement can, you can, you can think of it like this. S of n is equal to this, n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 by 4. In place of that, I've just put n as k. So, that's why I got this, what you are seeing. Now, now, I have to show that the given statement is true for n equal to k plus 1, statement or formula. Now, that is, we basically have to show that s of k plus 1 equal to k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 k plus 4 by 4. Wondering how I got it? See, uh, if you will observe in the given question, basically it's n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 by 4. In, in place of n put k plus 1. In place of n put k plus 1. Okay. So that's when I would get here in place of n I put just keep k plus 1. Here k plus 1 plus 1 which is k plus 2. k plus 1 plus 2 which is k plus 3 k plus 1 plus 3, which is k plus 4, and by 4 is there as it is. So, this is what I need to prove. Okay, by definition, by definition, s of k plus 1 is this, 1 into 2 into 3, 2 into 3 into 4, and so on, up till k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus. <clears throat> See, basically, s of k has k terms. s of k has like k terms in the sense they are like k, uh, k terms in this. Now, in s of k plus 1, there would be k plus 1 terms. There would be k plus 1 terms. And what would be that k plus 1 the term? In place of the in place of this k, in place of this k, just put k plus one. That's how you would get the k plus one the term. That's why that's how you can see here. I wrote k plus one plus k plus one plus one into k plus one plus two. That is that is going to be my k plus one the term. I just added it. So fine. Uh, so ultimately, I would get now one more thing by definition one into two into three and so on up till this k the term. It's nothing but s of k. It's nothing but s of k. S of k plus, so k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2 and k plus 1 plus 2 is k plus 3. Next. Uh, we know that S of k is also equal to this, okay, k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 by 4. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, since S of k is equal to this, I'm just going to put this in place of this. Since S of k is this. 
now it's very simple okay very simple calculation this is i feel the easiest question mathematical induction okay trust me guys this is seriously the easiest question so far i feel nothing much you see now take k plus k1 and k, k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 common in these two terms so this is what you are get here k plus 4 you are left out with and here the there you, are, you would be left out with 1 so now just take lcm 4 would go here k plus 4 by 4 now just multiply and write it down as it is done okay your proof is done this is what you had to show that s of k plus that's why i told it's seriously the shortest and so easiest question i feel so far okay so far all the videos i made <clears throat> Now next, therefore S of k plus 1 is this, therefore the given statement holds for n of k, n equal to k plus 1. And now for some final statements to finish off these carry marks, don't forget to, you know, write them. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, P of n is true for all n belongs to, that is the formula, this given formula <coughs> is true for all n belongs to n. Thank you very much. Not just this question, I have made many, many more questions related to mathematical induction. I'll put the link for the playlist in the description, so please don't forget to check it out. Not just that, uh, if you like this video solution, please hit the like button and if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Once again, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Routkill in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Thank you.